Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about React 17 version and uh, this version is not a developer uh, related really update because most of things that has changed is related to core of React and they have some uh, improvements in order to uh, make the uh, react upgrade uh, easier in the next versions and it has some improvements but as a developer you don't need to uh, change anything and you don't have any improvement uh, in your code just one thing is changed and it is uh, the jsx transformer it means that when you use uh, you uh, react 17 version and react strict version 4 then you don't need to import react by default if you remember in the previous versions of react you had to do something like this import react from react because you had to load it in order to compile your jsx but you don't need anymore and that's very useful and i think in the next versions they're gonna remove the export default from it but it hasn't published yet and the other thing that is interesting but it has it, they said it has officially released but i couldn't get it run uh, unless i installed another package to get it run it's the fast refresh it means that for example you are working in a big project and let me just show you here for example you have changed your state and the state value is this one and when you make some changes in your code automatically react render your whole application and that's not good for debugging for example you have a form and you have lots of values in it and then you want to change a line of code and when you do it everything resets and you still need to write all of them again so with this improvement you don't need to uh, you actually react doesn't load everything for you just the piece of uh, section that has changed so to run it you can see also it's related to version 4 of react create react app uh, script yeah you can see the fast refresh is added here it has been released two days ago and yeah in order to add it to your project there is a package you can use uh, named yeah this package after you install it you can see number of people using it in increasing so we can easily add it using yarn on npm in our project let's first i show you something and then add it you can see that the default value of my counter 2 is 541 so let's make it like this to show this here yeah if i increase it and then change it for example to 51 you can see that it has been reset and that's not good so i easily can add that package let me go to the my directory and yarn add react refresh and then it will be added to your package json you don't need to do anything else because react uh, does care of it yeah you can see it has added where is it not yet i don't see it yeah react refresh is added uh, i should say that this is not good for production because it's a experimental feature and so if i run my project again
yeah so it's 51 now I increase it to 60 then I change it to 1 so you can see that my app is reloaded but the state retains the previous value that's fantastic for debugging and working in large scale applications that was all that I understood from the new version of react I had uh, I actually wanted more features but this release was not that much uh, developer related stuff so let's wait for other versions to see what's gonna add it inside react thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed uh, please subscribe to my channel in order to get more videos like this thank you guys bye